Welcome back Zero Kids, how are you doing? Today we're going to take a look at a very much requested deck for today's deck and fight, which of course is going to be Gear Chronicle with Zodiac Time Beasts. So this isn't exactly the list that you can play right now in Global, this is actually post Fire Destruction 2, because Fire Destruction 2 actually gave a really good stride to Gears that gives them an out to Neo Nectar, which is of course a matchup that isn't necessarily like a bad or a counter matchup, but it's not necessarily a good one either. There's also some optional stuff in this G-Zone, like next state, not next stage, like uh, Gear Groovy, which of course is a interesting card, but it's not necessary whatsoever. I think it's kind of a win more, and like if you have it, you play it. If you don't, you really don't need it. So we're going to kind of just like show off the deck and talk about everything as it plays. Also right now, because of Chrono's birthday thingy, we have double rank points in uh, JP, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the deck and talk about it a little bit. This is also the list that was used by one of the players in the Zero Championship Summer in the Japanese server, um, and I basically took it and played around with it and had a lot of fun with it and changed like one card basically. So let's take a look at the list. Of course, we're playing the best Chrono skin available. It is very cool. This is the 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 male drip tier list, like top SSS level that everyone should reach for. But let's take a look at the deck itself. Um, of course, there's a lot of good cards for Gears, so you can definitely play some other stuff that I'm not playing. As you can see, I don't have Delayed Blazer in here and stuff like that, so you can definitely put that in instead. But this is the list that I'm running right now with the way that it currently is in the JP server. So, of course, the main card and, of course, the thumbnail is Chrono Dragon G. This is the new best grade 3 to go into. Uh, actually, better than the original Chrono Jet, so you always want to be writing it. So, he's a Zodiac Time Beast as well as a Gear Dragon, which is very important because of, you know, the way that Zodiac Time Beasts work. And Vanguard circle during your turn for every two face-up cards in your g-zone he gets plus 5k and all of your uh zodiac time beast rear guards get plus 1k so if you first stride into something that is you know that flips then you immediately get that power buff um after that turn and then of course that keeps going with every single flipping strike then magnet circle time leap so time leap of course you guys should know what that is already um from the previous time we looked at this deck it basically says when your gear dragon or zodiac time beast unit strides you can call one card from your hand and then you can choose one of your rear guards and time leap it now this is really good because it has really good synergy with chrono dran chrono dran says gb1 when this card is bound which is what time leaping is you can put it to soul instead in search your deck for a great three chrono jet and call it and then at the end of its battle or its attack it goes to your hand so this is cool because of course you can basically time leap chrono dran off your field because he has retire protection and then search out a grade one and then you use chrono dran to search out a grade three which then ch chains into the split pegasus because this card says in the g zone during your turn while this card is face up all of your front row uh zodiac time beasts i'll just call them ztbs it's shorter get plus 1k power and then once per turn if your heart is a zodiac time beast you can count moss one and flip any g unit face up a very big point and then choose a grade one or greater rear guard and put it back to deck and then search your deck for two zodiac time beasts that are grade minus one of that card so why this is really good is that again this works into the combo right we stride over this we time leap the chrono dran which then gives us a grade one and a chrono jet and then we use split pegasus to put the chrono jet we called back to deck and call out two grade twos and we have two grade twos that are available which are the um rugarude as well as the um farm uh peacock we will have better Zodiac Time Beasts in the future as well, but for the time being, this is the best that we have for the Grade 2s. Like, trust me, there's going to be really, really good ones in the future. That's why I'm really excited about Zodiac Time Beasts. So as you can see, like, this little combo is already really, really good, and that's kind of what makes this deck so nice. We're still running the other Chrono Jet, of course, because it's still a good card. You know, the GB2 Garter Strike is sometimes worth the going to, and of course, the ability to spin something on Stride is also good, but the combo potential is much better, because if we want to spin stuff, we have the Glimmer Breath Dragon, which is still, you know, if your Vanguard is a Chrono Jet, which G is, you can almost want Soul boss one and then rewind one of your opponent's rear guards to the bottom of the deck and it gets plus 2k so we still have that availability and then we have history maker to make extra combos you know on attack it lets you time one of your rear guards so this card is still going to be very good and then the new grade two is of course the regarde is when it attacks a vanguard if your vanguard is a or your heart is a zodiac time beast it gets plus 2k so it's not a attacker which is actually pretty important and then gb1 on rear in time leap he says when you drive check a grade three zodiac time beast which for now is only chrono jet dragon g you can so boss one to time leap this card so this lets you swing with him swing with him to your opponent's rears swing with your vanguard and if you check one of the chrono jet dragon g's you will then be able to time leap them out mid battle 
battle phase and attack more times and then you know put the trigger power to the boosters in the back row which is really nice i like this card to put it as a three of because i want to see two of them um in most cases and then two of the farm peacock this card is pretty interesting because it says rear when placed by a time leap ability for that turn gets a following ability which is this unit cannot be put back to the deck by card ability so both yours and your opponents but it's only for that turn of course so why we're playing this guy is that basically when you first try to split pegasus you can actually flip the original uh, Cross Command Dragon. So, Cross Command Dragon isn't a good card by any means, it's not really that great or anything like that, but we have a new stride, which is the Chronos Command Revolution. So, Chronos Command Revolution says, GB2 when placed on a Vanguard Circle, if you have a Chronos Command Dragon face up in your G-Zone, you can count almost one a G Persona to put all rearguards of both players to the bottom of the deck, which means that all those Thurias are going to get just booted, and your stuff is also going to get booted. But, you can actually stride into this first, time leap one of your grade ones into the peacock and give it the ability to not be rewinded and then you use chrono man chrono Chronos command revolutions effect to bot deck everything but the peacock so that's kind of like how that works and it's really cool this stride is really really good because it doesn't target it wipes out everything so it's actually a really really good stride wow we got followed by gear vibes as i'm recording the, <laughs> the gear chronicle deck and fi that's funny so that's like kind of like the must-haves i would say we're still running the one fate rider in case we need like a costless stride because of course this does cost cd1 to go into we are running one copy of the upheaval pegasus i feel like this is less needed nowadays because of the fact that we have it out but if you want to set up double theory on first stride you might still want on it um just to kind of like out the thurias because if you go into split pegasus you're gonna have just three attacks like you know it's not gonna be very impactful next stage is still here because it's still a good stride you know being able to get that extra vanguard attack is still pretty worth it the one of copy of the Huan Long at the end of the battle this unit attack the vanguard Kamas one and then you can choose a grade one or greater from your bind zone that is face up and then either add it to your hand or call it so this is an attack extender you can also technically flip it from the split pegasus and then when you would go into gear groovy you can then flip next stage and combine those two effects so you get an extra rearguard swing and also the restanding vanguard so that's pretty good because you have more drive checks in that turn than normal then we play one copy of the crossover dragon i haven't gone into this card even once yet it's a cool card to have as a one of but if you don't have it i wouldn't really sweat it too much it's uh when you place on a vanguard circle you can choose two different names uh two different name chronogets from your drop zone and put them to the bottom of your deck and then gb3 if your heart is a chronogen you can come us two you get a crit and you search your deck for two chronogets with different names and call them and for that battle get oh sorry for that turn give them the following abilities, which is Rearguard Circle. When the attack hits a Vanguard, you can put this and one of your other Chronogen Rearguards to your soul, and then you stand your Vanguard and draw three. So it's a re-standing Vanguard, which it's just a bit expensive. CB2 is a little bit pricey in a deck that doesn't have that much counter charge, which like, of course, you could run more counter charge, but I don't think it's really that worth it. Um, so as a result, I feel like this card is fine it's decent but it could be better and i feel like if you want to go for a restanding vanguard you just go into next stage anyway and then finally that takes us to our last stride which is the gear groovy so gear groovy is an interesting little stride which you know for the most part it's it just it's just a win more like you don't really need to combine two stride effects and like optimally you would want to be combining like ragna clock with next stage because that's like super anime so if you want to make space for ragna clock you can cut maybe I don't, the Hemo Pegasus cut feels kind of heavy, like maybe Fate Rider, because like you're always first fighting this, but having the DRCB play is really nice. Honestly, the G-Zone for Gears is really tight. Like, if you don't play Gear Groovy, I would say put in Ragnarok, um, because it's still a good card. So, Gear Groovy says, first, let's start with the second skill. GB3 once per turn, you can Soul Blast 1 and flip any G unit face up to get plus 5k. This is actually important because of his first skill. His first skill says GB2 once per turn. If your heart is a Chrono Jet, you can G Persona Blast as an act, and then for that turn, you choose two different named uh gear dragons that are face up in your g-zone and copy all of their auto abilities so auto abilities are like on attack you know stuff like that right and the g persona costs of those cards basically that are inherited become just flipping the original card so for example if you are to inherit like next stage then you will flip another next stage for the cost so how this works is that you basically go into the split pegasus right and then let's say you don't go for chronos command revolution in this game because you're not going to need it let's say so you split pegasus and then let's say you flip a fun long right so fun long is now face up and fun long is a gear dragon and a zodiac time beast then you go into the next stage because now you're basically on gb2 by doing that and then you stride this you're in gb3 already so you solo us one and flip for example the next 
next stage and then when you would attack with the next stage sorry when you attack with the gear groovy you will first proc this effect which will then let you to get the restanding vanguard or i guess they're both at the end of the battle so you can choose to do them in whichever order so you can basically proc the next stage to you know do your like g persona cb1 and then like discard three and then like restand the vanguard and then you can do fun long who will then call out one of your bound cards it's something that you time leap from chrono jet g skill so that's kind of how this card works you almost always combine it with next stage um and then it's like whatever else usually it's gonna be fun long because like you don't have that many targets to begin with you can only take gear dragon so be super super careful of that like this is a gear dragon this guy is a gear dragon this guy technically is a gear dragon but and you know you kind of want to go into him on his own and also because he's an on place effect it will not proc it has to be an on attack or on hit effect so you realistically like you don't have that many targets you technically have this but like you know this is also like um this is an act effect so it won't get copied so it's literally your main targets are these two so we're not going to go into it that much but it's still important to know i guess the cards i haven't explained yet are of course the Urwatar. of course it's still a good card you want to run as a Katuo. For grade ones there's not much new we're running three counter charge RPGs and one of the steam uh, keeper Rabashim. This guy says it's a PG and GB1 when placed from deck by a time leap, abil a time leap ability you can discard one and bounce into hand. So for example from Chrono G skill if you don't have any PGs you can actually time leap into this from Chrono Dran and then just discard one and bounce it back to hand. So there are games when you don't draw RPGs, and this is pretty good for that, so it is actually quite worthwhile. And then you still have like some of the countercharging happening with the R limb, so it's good enough. Of course, we're still running two copies of the uh, Tickaway Dragon. I'm a huge fan of this card because it can recycle your triggers. Basically, every time one of your rearguards, one of your other rearguards is placed by a uh, time leap ability, you can choose a card in your drop zone and put it to the bottom of the deck. So this can put back triggers, put back your one ofs, etc., and it's just really nice for recycling pieces. And finally, we have the Nebata. So she says, when your Vanguard is a Zodiac Time Beast, this card can intercept from the back row, which is really cool. This actually shuts down a lot of decks that need specific things to attack the Vanguard to proc, which is really good. I'm a huge fan of this card. I wish there was more space to play it. Honestly, I feel that way about the G-Zone too. Um, so yes, that's the deck. Very long explanation, um, but honestly, it's a really fun deck. I don't think it's tier one per se, but it's probably one of my favorite decks to play in Zero Ladder right now. So I hope you also enjoy it. I hope you can have fun with it. So my win rate with it isn't exactly like insanely good. Um, it's decent. Uh, we do win some games, and sometimes against Neo Nectar opponents, you just go into Chronos Command uh, Revolution and just surrender. Um, that actually happened to me, like, earlier today. We're gonna go up against Narukami, which is most likely Vanquisher. We're going second, which is good. Vanquisher is okay of a matchup, I guess. We're not really, like, you know, sweating too hard. So this hand is pretty nice. We're gonna basically keep this. We're going second, so maybe we want to keep this as a stride fodder, but... I will choose to play it safe and keep this as a stride fodder. I think it's quite nice because I kind of want to keep the um, I kind of want to keep the other grade one around, and we can ride the um, Steam Breath Dragon instead uh, because the other grade one we only played two copies, and it's a nice way to like recycle your units all the time. So I'm quite a fan of it. Um, and then let's see what this Vanquisher player is going to be bringing to the table. We draw two heals, which isn't exactly great, but it's fine. Right into Steam Breath, and then of course call Kronjad to the back behind the Vanguard. That's kind of always where I put it, because it just kind of like hangs out on the field until we need to clear it off for a, uh, you know, for Time Leap purposes, which of course is the best thing about this deck, which is the Time Leap combos. They're very, very fun. Uh, so my opponent checks the Vanquisher in defensive, and now we're going to see how they're going to proceed. Va this is the Chatura, the Vanquisher. All right, I'm going to try to search for Vanquisher. One of them is out. They're going to find a Vermilion, which I guess could be a Stride Fodder. I'm going to set up some bind uh, pressure on the back. Or are they committing a field? I feel like you don't want to commit a field with Vanquisher yet because you draw. You only have like one card that draws you extra cards. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I guess this is a dead card in going first. So that's fine, I guess. So it's the... I've seen a lot of Vanguard players play this card, actually. I'm personally not too big on it. Like, Martial Arts Dragon. It basically is a 12k attacker um, on GB1, and then if you ride it, it basically has uh, some extra effects to, like, bind the opponent's stuff um, in the front row. I think here we can go for the Peacock. We only really need one Peacock for the most part, because it's kind of hard to get it out. Um, I guess we can put this down. We can find our combo pieces. Like, we find double grade 2 on first try, so we don't really care about, like keeping these retos around especially because for now they're not going to get bound yet so that is also the kind of strong part of this turn two is that we can kind of still have some rears alive that's the second the vanquisher checked i wonder if my opponent has one in hand if they do good if they don't it's gonna be a bit sad they don't oh my god 
All right, well, I don't play any resist, so the Dragonekaiser warning. It is warning, right? This one is, oh, it's Crimson. Warning is a stride, I think. Gets a heal, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, no Vanks, but still strong. Oh, there's a third. Okay, I'm kind of doubting my opponent's ability to find Vanquisher. They rode the stride fodder on turn one, too, so that's like one way to uh, to find it that they don't have now. We have an Orotar. That's really nice. Um... Damn, well, I don't want to Tally B yet, so I'm actually fine without it. Let's ride into Gonja G. We do have an animation. Very cool. There's also some extra lines for specific strides, too, which is very nice. We're gonna go into the split Megasus, Amogus, and discard the Chrono Jet here. Three kills in hand is like, hmm. Not exactly too fond of that, but I guess it's fine. Can't be helped. Uh, so here we're gonna use Chrono G skill to first call out the Tick Away. I do want to call this out. And then we're gonna basically just Time Leap. And then you stick away to put the drawback, which is very nice. Well, we have we have no PGs actually, but I don't really have anything I want to discard in hand either. So we're gonna just set up another takeaway. Thing is, the thing that we time leap into gets put back, so like this doesn't really make a big difference. Maybe it's worth just in case to search out the PG now. I'll choose to to play it a bit more dangerous. I'll just search the takeaway for now. Search the takeaway, and then we just set up a board. So then, uh, this will proc, we're gonna put the drawback first. Triggers in deck are always a good thing. And then we're gonna use Chrono Gen to call out the card we put back, basically. So we're gonna call you out. Cha-ching. And then we're gonna CB1 off of this. And then search out, uh, let's see, what are we targeting for face-ups? I guess showing off Chrono's Command is gonna be pretty cool, so let's aim for that. It is the newest card, so kind of aim towards that play here. Mm, and we can try to just do this. Yeah, so double Lugazade is pretty nice. So you can see, like, literally, I ditched Stride Fodder, I set up a whole board. Like, it's... That's the really cool thing about this deck that I really, really enjoy. So, it's like you don't even need to have combo parts in hand. The combo just kind of happens on its own. It, it just spawns into your hand, which is personally really cool. I really enjoy that um, play style of it. And now if we check a draw trigger here... Um, if we check the, the Chrono Jet G specifically, we actually get to, you know, just push so much harder. We see our last heal, which is actually pretty good. Um, that means we're not going to be doing any extra multi-attacks, but it's not really too bad. Like, we push to three, which means next turn we can go into... Kind of depends. Like, we have a bunch of different options to go into, to be honest. Like, if we have CB, we could even go into the crossover, because we will have GB3. Um, I don't have the Chrono Jets in the, uh, drop, though, so... That's... A little bit like it feels like you're not getting the full effect out of it um so that's a little bit unfortunate and it would be cool if bait rider like actually flipped something face up <laughs> that'd be kind of sick um otherwise yeah i feel like there's gonna be another just get chronos command revolution i feel like they might be playing resists like there are resists in narukami okay they're not but this means i can just like blow their board up um with my you know the ability to just swing. Ooh, this means my intercept is gonna live, I think, because it's gonna bind the card and drop, which I don't really mind. It's probably gonna be the next. It's not the Chrono Jet. You should buy. You should definitely take care of the Chrono Jet, because I will uh, be getting that back in the deck otherwise. All right, that's, that's the last Vanquish game. Okay, there will be no vanquishing this game, so my front row will be mostly safe. PG goes there. It's gonna kill the tick away, and he's he's gonna target. Ah, he took the Chrono Jet again. Okay. <laughs> No winning there. Alright, the Lugado Day is all flying away. Flying the sky. And that's pretty interesting for us. I guess it does give you GB2, so you can go into V Max sooner. Uh, which is quite nice. And with this, we draw PG, which isn't exactly what I want to see. Hmm. I guess I could rewind. We could just go for Chronos Command here. I will lose my Lugado Day. I don't really want to lose, to be honest. Could go in... Ah, Juan Long doesn't feel good. <laughs> Juan Long does not feel good. Do we have anything in the Vine Zone? Oh, we do! Wait a second, wait a second. Juan Long in this matchup is actually kind of hot. Let's go for Juan Long. It procs my, uh, my Chrono Jet G skill too. Juan Long is... Yeah, I forgot. I have stuff in the Vine Zone. Just stuck. I can get my heal back. <laughs> be careful what you put in there, bro. I might just plus. <laughs> I might just plus. I have outs to everything, bro. I have outs to everything. Um, yeah, we're gonna time leap that into... We have a PG in hand now, so I'm like, I don't really need this, right? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. 
Uh, let's do this. We can put a heal back. We are in heal range. We draw into a PG. That's pretty good. I'm going to put a heal back and shuffle. Um, we can kind of swing a few times. Ah, but this needs to swing Vanguard. I guess we can, like, bot deck something. Maybe bot deck back row and then get a nice extra call. But this thing this doesn't time leap. That's, like, the only annoying thing. Mm, I'm going to go for a bot deck here. Let's get you out. Bot deck Shatra. And then we're going to swing, swing. Um, and that should be good. So here, we're going to swing like so, I think, first. And then there's a chance to high roll off of this if we check a draw. How many heals do I have left in deck? One. Just the one. The chance of hitting it isn't very high. I think I'll go for the greedier play then. I'm going to go for the greedier play. Doop. Ah, my greed has been punished. <laughs> my greed has been greatly punished. It's fine. We can get the heal back to hand, I guess, for a moment. Oh! Hold up. Hold up. Things are happening. God damn it. Just needed one more. Just needed one more trigger, but it's okay. Okay, we put them to four. One long's gonna proc, and we can add something to hand. I don't have Stride Fodder in hand, so I will take this to hand. <laughs> Feels good. Doesn't that let me take the heal out? That's kind of odd. Whatever. Let's just swing in. Fake swing. Fake swing out, and then this tick away will go away, which means I don't have to worry about, you know, freaking uh, getting getting my back row blasted. Oh, it only allowed... Hold up, hold up. Let me read the Pong Long again real quick. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what... why did it not let me take the heal out. Oh, it's greater on a greater. Okay, it doesn't let me take the heal out. Unfortunate. I, I didn't read that part. I thought it was any card. Still good. Still good. We plus the hand. VMAX coming in. Okay, I hope you have some ways to attack... Uh, to ignore my intercepts, my guy. So this is, of course, the new stride for you guys in Global. This is... Oh, no. He was playing this version of the deck. So it's like you're playing like a bunch of the Desert Gunners. And then, uh... Okay, just one, I guess. My guy is gonna just stay alive. Except not really. He's gonna actually attack into it. It's pretty good. He pushes me to five here. And I have to basically potentially PG this. Um, I think I can heal guard, actually, which is good. No! He bound it! Unfortunate. Yeah, this will attack both of them. And then... He's really low on cards in deck. Seven? How am I on 18? Am I good on seven cards in deck? That's crazy, dude. Wait, did he forget to? Did he? No. Huh? Did I barely? I barely dodged the bind. Oh, he didn't have enough. Yo, that's kind of sick. All right. Do we just go into next stage here? I think we just go into. Let's let's show off Gear Groovy. <laughs> oh my god, let's just show off Gear Groovy, dude. I feel like it'd be funny. I feel like it's funny to show off Gear Groovy. It's such a funny little card. Funny man. Funny guy. Doosh. Kyagrovi! GG! Let's tell our opponent GG real quick. Um, don't really need to call... I don't really wanna... I guess we can time leap a heal out. Just to have a grade 1 on board, to be honest. Just to have a grade 1 on board, I will actually time leap it out. You need to be careful on time, of course. Alright, cool. Go to main phase. Uh, let's use the second skill first to flip a next stage. Very cool. Get some power. And then we're going to swing a bunch of times. So this is going to do this. This is going to do this. Uh, we can bot deck this. I'm running out of time, though. And then we need to do this. G Persona Blast. Take these two. Oh my god, the time. The time, bro. The time. Ah. Call the heal. <laughs> Call the heal. I'm going in. I'm going in, mom. Don't, don't stop me. Don't stop me. I'm going in. Hold up. Uh, I'm just trying to think attack patterns. <laughs> I'm trying to think attack patterns. I'm gonna make this into 16. I need to not mess up the CD. I mean, to be honest, as long as we can use Gear Ruby, I don't really care. Heavy breathing. <laughs> Heavy breathing. I need my opponent to explode. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the time. The time, mom. Mother. The time. I'm gonna discard my whole hand for this. This is such a bad play! This is such a bad play if they have like a bajillion PGs. Ah! <laughs> ah! The stand! Oh my god, the stand. That's crazy. Let's go! <laughs> Explode! <laughs> Please! Uh. Let's go. Let's go next stage! 
Let's go next stage. <laughs> ah, it's like literally no point to do this. Ah, let's go. Come on, please, please. Come on, you got this. Connect. It's not yet. <laughs> How much? Four heals out. Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> I just want it to be cool! Mom, I just want it to be cool! Please, I swear! Ah, oh, the heal! <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. That was a funny turn. And now I will die. <laughs> that was a funny turn. Definitely overdid it on the TB a bit. Was it the History Maker? I'm not sure. Wait. Wait a second. Damn it, the Legion's gonna kill me. <laughs> I, I underestimated the Legion. I was going to put three heals back and kill me. Oh, no. That's not cool. That's not funny at all. <laughs> oh, my God. No, don't let me break. Please, God, stop. <laughs> dude, look at my GB7, dude. I'm ready to go to GB8 next turn. Oh, my God. He finds it. What a God. It's okay. I'll, I'll see the Overtrigger next turn. I'll see the Overtrigger in this next damage. We'll be fine. Counter charge, very cool. My front row dies, and then so do I. No, my heal! My over trigger! How dare you! Stop! No, the PGs! <laughs> Alright, we die. We die. It was funny, but we definitely played it like stupid. <laughs> I I wanted you know what? I've been asked so many times to show off Gear Groovy. I just had to go into it once. I just wanted to go into Gear Groovy once for the for the folks at home. Just for the people at home. To everyone to show that it's, it's being played for a reason and that reason is to lose <laughs> all right here we go game two this time is going to be esports mode esports just full-on esports no misplays no gear groovies no gear groovies ah, we're going first i misplayed already i'm sorry I, I i lied i lied i'm sorry i made the biggest misplay known to card gamers which is not going in the right order which is usually first but in zero it's second um i'm a little bit worried about this hand it's not bad, but it's not great. I kind of need your group, like, turn to G. I think I'll keep this, ride into the tick away, and then we're gonna search out the G. The G is just really good, like, it's just a good card. So, we're gonna play against Bermuda. It's gonna be probably Prisms, um, because that's the main deck being played. No, I wanted to show off the PG this game, like, how you search it and how it's hand, but it added to hand already by itself. Wow, what a crazy ability. All right, I rode the tick away, pass the turn, then ride the great two. Pitch the Steam Breath, and then, uh, or no, call the Steam Breath, pitch it away to uh, find ourselves the right corner jet, and then we'll be gaming. Capital G, A-M-I-N-G. All right. Here we go. I'm ready to see. No! That's not what I'm ready to see. You're wrong. How dare you be incorrect. Okay. Uh, God damn, what do I want to pitch? I guess the Intercept Mouse. I really like her skill, but... I'm sorry. Rest in peace. <laughs> I need the G's, dude. I need the G's in my bloodstream. I think I'm, I can aggress a little bit here. We push a little bit. We're going first anyway, so might as well make use of that fact. If they see a defensive, I cry. If they don't, then I don't cry. Crazy, I'm not crying. Okay. We see a heal here. No, we're gonna see a stand. That's kind of pain. Slight cringe. Sorry. I posted cringe on the rear guard circle. Alright, they're gonna see... Ooh, that's the great 3 speed though. Interesting. So doesn't hit me more, so we're gonna pass. 22 is unfortunately too high. Too big for the world. To witness. Potpuri is gonna be the ride target. This... What is this? It is Prisms, right? I've seen so many Prism cards, and I'm like... Really, this is Prisms. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. Alright, show me... Can I have a great 2, please? Not in my damage zone. I have, like, barely any Zodiac Time Beast left to, like, play. <laughs> Hello? Please? I have to call Urwatar here. And, like, find a Stride Fodder or something. I guess we can call the Urwatar in front and keep the Great One in the back because it'll be a better booster later. If it gets attacked and so be it, I can just put it back with Tick away. It's not the end of the world. Huh! Swing, please! Alright, 19. If I check a, another stand somehow, I only play two. No heals. I'm on three with no intercepts. My hand is, like, all defensive, but I'm slightly scared. What does this PG do again? Give me one of your turn if this unit's a melody. Discard one bounce to hand. That's pretty good. That's a strong card. I like that. All right, they're going to go into Labrador here. Pitching two. Oh, my God. All right. Dude, I feel like I'm... Ooh, I feel like I'm in a... This is a big uphill battle, dude. Freaking going first. No, no intercepts. Just freaking sweating bullets out here, dude. 
Popery. Uh oh. That's gonna draw cards. I don't like that. Stop drawing cards. Don't do that. All right, Popery. What? This is Prism. Just Prism's like a with some like you know melody, Just harmony stuff. Sorry, melody's different. Melody's different. And now there's friends too. Why is there three different mechanics that do the same thing? Well, not really. Almost. More or less the same thing. Well, no, my Orotar. Why would you kill it? How dare you? That's so rude. I know you're gonna combo, but I'm gonna see an over trigger in my defense, and it's gonna be crazy. Here comes Eldo Breath. I'm ready for it. no Pika. Don't. I don't want you comboing. No. Don't kill me. No. Please. I just want to go back to play Splatoon. I was just playing Splatoon. Why you gotta kill me, dude? Leave me alone. Why? I just want to play Splatoon. Potpourri, no. Please. Oh, thank God. Why did I draw a heal? <laughs> Mother, I have questions. All right. I need to find a History Maker here. Please, God. Please show me History Maker. History Maker. Meme Maple. History Maker. This doesn't hit. Please tell me it doesn't game power. Okay, it doesn't. Thank God. Whew. Jesus. This is scary, bros. I'm sorry. But the TikTok youth came swinging. We're gonna go into Split Mega Sus as usual. And then uh, try to find some good cards off of it. If we don't, I'll cry. I will cry tears. Oh my god, take away! Big fan! I'm such a big fan, dude. Please, please, please sign my Blaster Dark. Okay. Uh, we're gonna call out the mouse. Don't really need the mouse. She's gonna get bound and, like, she's gonna go back anyways. Doesn't really matter. The most important thing is putting triggers back. Like this heal. Please, put the heal back. Tick away the god. If you don't play tick away, what are you doing? Put the tick away in the deck right now. And let yourself put heals back to the deck. Because if you don't, how are you gonna win? How can you win if you don't have heals? Okay, I feel like this is the game where Chronos Command will be very handy. <laughs> I feel like this is the one. This is the one game. The one and only game. The game of all time. Doosh, doosh. Okay. Sadly, we can't show off the cool, like, bind stuff that this Peacock can do, but alas, it's a good target to call out anyway. But it's fine. I'm gonna check. Two draws! Come on, please, show me a draw. Show me a draw. I beg you. I beg you, please, draw a trigger! My multi deck. Dude, and I put them on four. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. I don't- I didn't heal. I'm dead. Mom, I- Mom, I didn't misplay. Mom, I didn't misplay. I just got bullied. <laughs> Mom. I don't wanna die. Why does it have to be like this? I put the heal back, okay? Surely putting the heal back means I can survive. I have two of them in the deck, which means if I see both of them back to back, I will live. So that's cool. Why do I can I have the other PG in hand? If I had the other PG in hand, I could have searched this one, but no. Okay, there's no big super extension yet, but soon. <laughs> the fact that I am going to lose this turn has not changed. I should think you should know that. Okay, please no triggers. Please no triggers. Please no triggers. Please no triggers. Stop. Stop! Trigger bad. It's trigger bad. Stop. Uh, here we go. See, if you didn't get the draw, this would have been much easier. Ah, uh, why do you ride from deck? <laughs> you ride from deck and then draw two. And then you get power and draw again. And then you bounce and then you call two. <laughs> Wait, why did it bounce a great two? Does he have to? Hmm? Yes, it's up to two. Isn't that... I mean, whatever. I need to heal anyway, but... It might make a little difference. Because here... If I heal on six, I'm fine. So I'm gonna believe that I'm gonna heal on six and we can clap back. Big clap backs. Come on. Please, God. I beg you. Please, God. One more. Just just one more. I swear it'll go better this time. Also, to make up for it, look at this cat cat drinking milk. What a what a what a what a baby. We're going second! The cat! The cat did its work. I knew it. I knew I could trust the cat. Alright. We're gonna keep the strife in hand. Wrong chronogen. God damn it, dude. You one job. You had one job. And it's to find the damn right chronogen. But no! You had to mess up. Blue art. With a Kanzaki skin. I feel bothered for some reason. Damn. 
I forgot how fun it can be to record it. <laughs> and I'm glad that a lot of people are playing global again. Um, thanks to the new, you know, stuff that they did. All the good stuff. Shoutouts to the global devs. Doing the right thing, of course. Which is very, very good. So, because of that, you guys have a much better time playing. And I have a better time making content. Because there's more people watching the content. So it's a win-win for everyone. Thank you, Game Studio. Thanks to those that tuned in to the Zero... Uh, English circuit, that me and Kai commentated. Um, I was, we were both kind of dying of sleep deprivation in that one. I was dying a little harder though, as you could probably tell. Um, but I think in, you know, two weeks time, when we're back for the next qualifier, should be more alive, because it'll be in Asia at friendly times. Which is good, we like that, we like that a lot. So, this time, our opponent is gonna go into, oh no, is it zero damage lord? Okay, and it's not. Jesus Christ. Oh, for a second I got spooked because I don't play harmonics. Because <laughs> I don't see Zero Damage Lord much on ladders. I, I took out the harmonics. Which you can definitely play, by the way. You can definitely play. Um, I just took it out. That's all. Yeah. Takeaway is cool, but it's not the freaking corn that we need. So what we're going to do is right and drop this. Uh, maybe his... No, I think this... Search out the G. This will work. We can technically swing into the crit. Not that that's good, but it forces my opponent to call out something else, I guess. And I'm gonna have. No, actually, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm gonna leave in the background. We'll be fine. If I check a trigger, so be it. It's a good trigger. It's a healer. That's fine. Wouldn't have made a big difference. All right. With this, we put our opponent into two, and then they have to kind of work their way up now. Uh, with what they have, because they can't really do anything on the Luard ride. They're just going to Luardo Eduardo, and then uh, swing pass, I guess. Set up in the main. That's a good card. The main's a good card. The main's a good card. This he's playing a lot of defensive cards. Like this dude too. Like the one that gains 10k in your opponent's turn. Too bad I can bot deck it. Swinging, minging. Okay, or 19. Lugalude, I don't really want it in hand, to be honest. I'd rather you stay in the deck, my friend. That would be really cool. This hit still, so we go to three, which means we're in heal range. And oh, my searchable PG that I was supposed to show up in this third game. How dare you? All right, we start, we're going to ride Chrono Jet G, ditch the original Chrono Jet, call this out, find this, and then we're going to search out our stuff and have a great time. The heal, dude. What is going on, man? All right. The Dripped Chrono goes into the Dripped Chrono Jet G. He's gonna do a little pose. We're gonna do our usual of going into the split Megasus. And then Stride. Let's go split Megasus. Sus Omega. Okay. Split Megasus has been achieved. No! Oh my god, I'm running out of what it is. Please, God, stop. Stop. Don't. Do I even have them? Okay, I still have one of each. I have one of each of the boys. That is... Crazy. Deck crazy, man. Alright. Here, we're gonna go into... We're gonna use this to put the heal back. God damn it. I want that in the deck. If we can time leap again at some point this turn, that would be, like, super sick. But I'm not getting my hopes up. Not gonna lie. Not getting my hopes up. We're gonna mega sus. We keep our whole hand here, which is really sick. Uh, I think we will need the Chronos Command in this game, so I think we're gonna... I say that every time and then I lose. <laughs> LOL. LOL Omega. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. History Maker would be cool, but it's better when you point at 5. So what we are going to do is swing Rhea, and then we're gonna swing with Lugalure, and it will... And then I will check a G. A Chrono Jet G will be checked. For sure. 100%, for real, for real, on god, no cap. I believe. Yes! I did it. I did it, mom. I really did it this time. I've really done it this time. I know you weren't gonna believe in me, but I did it. I got another extra attack. It might not even hit. But I got heal back to deck! It wasn't in vain! It wasn't in vain, mother! Yes! It goes twice! <laughs> oh, that feels good. All right, now just don't see a defensive. It's fine. I got the heals back. That's all I ever wanted, and all I ever needed is to. All right, that's my turn. 
It was a good turn. This is gonna go back. That's gonna go back. That's gonna get called out. Cool. Good turn. My hand is eight cards. I'm chilling, bro. Chilling. I put two heals back. That's the best part ever. Putting two heals back is like cash money. Cash money, Kashmir. So now I need my dear opponent to potentially just blow up my whole board. I don't even mind. I don't even mind. You can literally just nay nay, you know, do a Fortnite dance, you know, do the gritty. And um, all over my board, I don't even mind, dude. I will Corner Command Revolution. Everything. Out the window. It's gone in that same instance. So, they're gonna go to Double Swordbreaker. Slightly scary, but that's okay. You only have two soul, which means uh, you don't have any soul for anything else after this, which is good. No Leah failing. Of course, they can retire Roots, which will then uh, put itself to soul, which is slightly annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, yes. Put the beefy boys. Yes. Put the beefy intercepts down there. So I can get rid of them. Excellent. Putting their sword breakers back for them is like not even that bad. I mean, they're gonna retire these two anyway. Or is it gonna retire double sword breaker? I actually would like that more. Yes! Oh, that's good. I can put the starter back. I can put the starter to bot back. That's pretty sick. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm gonna get crit to five too, which is actually not that bad. Because I have uh, so many heals in the deck, I actually kind of wanna be in high damage. No heal. That, that book was meant to come with a heal, of course, you know. That's kind of how it works in these streets. So, I have a Stride Fodder. For a second, I thought I didn't. Spooky. A more boost. Oh my god, I can... Wait, I, I don't have the Peacock in my deck, do I? Shai Saman! I think I'm out of Peacocks. No, I wanted to do the cool Peacock thing. Mm, it's kind of annoying. What's my drop? We could go for this. It has a crit. I can hit over the columns anyway, right? Can I? I don't know if I can hit 18. I can bot deck that thing. Dude. What if we showed off every single strike? Wouldn't that be insane? I think we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Screw it. We're showing off every stride in the whole G zone. That's why the Deccan fight is so long. I just show off every single stride. This is like three Gear Chronicle Deccan fights in one. Oh my god, dude. First, let's use you, put them back, and then, um, I guess we'll call you, and then Time Leap, this, into, this, as long as I have the soul, I'm kind of fine. Oh, so many things, Brock, I love it! Yeah, you love to see it. Put you back. So about this. What like this? Oh wait, did I miss the timing? I missed the timing! Ah, that's annoying. Okay. Um oh yeah, right, corner jets. It's not gonna mess up then. Whatever. TB2! Here I go. Chewip! I have to call them both out. Like so. How does this card work again? <laughs> so we swing at a rear. Hold up. I'm literally using this card for the first time in my life. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. We're gonna swing here. Then we're gonna swing with the Vanguard with the crit. Right? And then the Chrono Jet has to hit to get the, the thing. <gasps> Jump scared, dude. That's so scary. Wait, but doesn't it bind them? Oh, they go to Soul. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. That happens. Effects. Go to Soul. Restand and draw. No, no, don't overdraw. Damn it, I forgot that draws. God damn it. Crap. At least not a heal. Yes, there's the heal. Very good. <laughs> damn it, I'm gonna lose because I keep playing cards. <laughs> I keep playing too many cool cards. Ah, my whole deck is so cool, bro. I can't, I can't resist it. It's too hard. It's too hard for me. Oh my god. What a, what a, what a freaking. Is, is this what, is this what drugs feel like? <laughs> is this what drugs feel like, dude? Look at my hand. Do I have any draws left? I do have a draw left. That's scary. It's okay. Next turn, we really Chronos Command Revolution. That's the only stride I haven't shown off yet, I think. And I have, like, two PGs in hand and a heal guard. I'm okay. I'll be fine. 
right? One intercept in the back. Should be cool, right? Should be cool, right? It's gonna go into Doomed or something. Should be fine, right? 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 Ah, uh, Spec. Spec should be okay. Not too worried about Mr. Spec here. Speculos. Because I can just PG twice and have a heal guard for like a straight rear guard hit. If it are to happen. If it were R B to happen. Okay. I'm gonna call two great ones. I'm gonna use that. That's fine. I'm gonna use that. And then double intercept. It's gonna be the big boys. The swole individuals. The swole individuals. There we go. They're nice and swole there. Alright. Does not it retire any of my stuff? Which is fine. I kinda wish I put the peacock back in. Did I put the peacock back in? I didn't. Okay, what, what did I put in? Draw? I feel like I put a draw back. <laughs> and then it messed me up. And if you close your eyes... Don't forget to swing at the back. That's right. So then this is gonna probably swing. I'll heal guard that and we'll just like PG PG. We survive. Oh, that's not a good time for a heal trigger. Unfortunate, but alas. Okay, so this will inflict damage to me and my hand, but I will counter charge from it. And then I will keep the tick away on the board, which means that... Ooh, that's annoying. That's slightly annoying. I'm gonna counter charge. I'm just thinking on my next turn, because I think... Ooh, stop, uh, stop. Stop. Not good, not good. All right. Now we can go into Chronos Command Revolution. Hmm. Because I have a nice hand for like combos and stuff, so I feel like I can just go into this now. Bot deck the board. Oh my god, I don't have stride fodders. <laughs> I want the tick in hand. We're gonna just ditch double grade too. It's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to use this skill first. And then use G to like time leave stuff away. Should we? Goodbye to the field, and then we can call out, uh, we can't really, like, Son, shit. maybe we don't use a skill, we don't really need to time leap here, I guess, yeah, quarter tonight, it's fine, we're gonna set up a board, like, so, I guess, this is fine, not great, but we can put a trigger back, which is kind of nice. Yeah, this really isn't a great board, but <clears throat> let's see. No defensive is good. This means I can just kind of, like, do stuff. CB1. Oh, I don't have any targets. That's annoying. But I guess we don't use it. Shit, I didn't check. I drew into my last grade 3 there. That's why. Because I was going into it, I was like, alright, here we go. And I drew into my last grade 3. Damn it. That's annoying. Alright, well... It's, you have everything you ever need. That was the fourth heal as well. I mean, hey, maybe we, we randomly live. We don't. We don't. We're gonna die to freaking Diablo. <laughs> We're going to get obliterated by Diablo. Uh, should I have time leave the Grey Dawn away then? Or the heal away? Just to put another heal back? But then the heal would have just called itself back. It's hard. It's hard, dude. It's very hard. Tengen Grey 2 is gonna go back. 13 card deck must be nice. Slightly jealous. Alright, here we go. Damn it! This is another day where I wish we could have just matched against Neo Nectar once. Because Neo Nectar, they literally, they actually concede when you go into Revolution. It's so funny. It's so funny because they always do that. But now I'm going to just die to Diablo and it's not going to be funny. It's going to be sad. I'm going to cry. All my PGs are out and he knows that. <laughs> I'm just super dead. Maybe he doesn't have a booster. That's not a booster. That's not a booster either. Damn it, you swapped the column. How could you be so smart? I can't believe it. Wait a second. Oh, he, did he activate the skill? He, he did activate the skill. I had my hopes up. For no reason. Unfortunate. Okay, here comes the swing. This freaking almost one hour deck and fight. Only to go 0-3, baby. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna E4 damage too, maybe even 5 as a treat? Oh no, yeah, not 5, okay. Oh, I'm 
dead. <laughs> this was an interesting fight. Interesting fight. I got to show off every single... Pretty sure I showed off everything but, but the freaking um, upheaval Pegasus. We showed off every other stride. And not Fade Rider, I guess, too. There's the lawn. But every single new stride has been shown off. So that's great. Mission accomplished. Good deck and fight. All right, so folks, this was the deck and fight. I hope you enjoyed it. We didn't do that great, but it's a pretty cool and fun deck. Um, please enjoy it in your own free time and please make it even better. This is just your, like, you know, framework to start the build with. So please enjoy and make it even better and tell me how you make it even better as well. Anyway, that's it for this very long deck and fight. I won't keep you any longer. If you like the video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.